So the Paris Agreement was in 2015 and this was a historic agreement. It is called historic because for the first time in the history of this climate action plan, all the nations are put to board. So earlier we saw in Kyoto Protocol there was only industrialized countries that is annex on countries has to limit their emissions but here in Paris all nations were has to limit their emissions and they should come up with nationally determined contribution that is NDC nationally determined the nations are free to determine how much they can achieve so they are free to determine their contribution to the global emissions how much they will reduce what are the ways they are trying to achieve for in uh, for example india agreed in three way uh, india's decision was in threefold it agreed to reduce the emissions reduction of emissions plus it agreed to increase the forestry power and it agreed to increase the share of renewable energy in its total energy basket like that this was the uh, nationally determined contributions of india like that every nation come up with their ndcs and they, it is legally binding on them they are supposed to follow these ndcs and there will be global stock taking once in five years first was uh, first year uh, will be at 2018 in terms of facilitative dialogue and after that every five years global stock taking will be there to determine whether these countries are following their agreements so it is legally binding on all countries and next uh, what happened was that there was agreement that global warming will be contained below 2 degrees Celsius right here also they have committed to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius uh, from the pre-industrial levels and efforts to limit it to 1.5 degrees Celsius efforts will be taken for this step that is keep global temperatures below 2 degrees Celsius pre-industrial levels and you pursue efforts to limit temperatures even further to 1.5 degrees Celsius that is one of the important decision Next, so how when when this agreement came to force, it actually came to force from 2016 itself. When does an agreement comes to force? This agreement comes to force when 55 percentage of the countries are ratifying, or the countries having 55 percentage of the total global emissions are ratifying the agreement so the all the countries widely adopted this agreement in they have ratified other countries have ratified so it have achieved the universe, universal ratification and it came to force from 2016 much earlier than it was supposed to come in force uh, we thought that it may come in force by 2018 but as early as 2016 it came to force and next after this or uh, Two more COPs also happened and the last one in Bond and Bond is the second rate of this UNFCC and this time this COP was chaired by a small island nation, small island nation is Fiji. Fiji was the chair but it was occurred in Bond, it is COP 23. So what happened in Bond? In Bond, it was supposed to agree, arrive at the agreements for the Paris Agreement. They have to finalize the Paris Agreements. And we saw different uh, action plans happening here. So one is MOCA. What is MOCA? Ministerial on Climate Action. It is a coalition by EU, European Union, China and Canada. They came up with a, an action plan for 
climate action like that different uh, co coalition scan has come forward another one is powering past coal alliance so this alliance aim to phase out the coal power plants so it aim, aims to phasing out of the coal power plants it was led by uk and canada so many countries have joined this alliance it will be opened at the talks so that the people interested in this coalitions can join them and what is the coalition advocated by india india advocated the international solar alliance right so it is an alliance of the solar energy rich countries in the tropical and subtropical regions and they can join this alliance it is led by india and france and this alliance aims to further advance the solar energy technologies and to help other countries to achieve the solar energy production so that if many players are coming to picture the cost of solar energy production can be released with the new technologies and products like that is the aim of this alliance and this alliance also came into force and uh, in uh, talk wise still the difference between the developing and uh, developed countries was there developing countries were asking for the pre second commitment period right so here from paris we saw a change in the action plan every country put in the same platform so the developing countries were asking for the commitments on the second commitment period but there was no conclusive decisions taken on this it seems like developing countries are ignoring this commitment and another dialogue started it is talnoya dialogue so this means that we have to have a global stock taking of how much each country is achieving so that there should be general agreements countries should come up with their concerns countries should come up with the different methods like that it is a open platform for the dialogues it was otherwise called as facilitative dialogue so the talks are opened for the global taking under the paris agreement and another thing we saw was the gender action plan so it they know uh, it uh, uh, tries to picture is the role of women in climate change and also to empower them in this climate change related issues next one is local communities and indigenous people platform so le local communities and indigenous peoples platform so here we are trying to take up the traditional knowledge from the local communities and indigenous people to adapt to the climate change indigenous people have various methods to tackle the natural resources so here we try to uh, take uh, learn from their traditional knowledge also and also uh, exchange of practices and experiences and third one was this ocean pathway partnership this was to include ocean related measures also in their global climate change talks so this were proposed by the hosting country fiji so fiji wants to include climate change happening in ocean also to come to the mainstream and this were happened in bonn talks and now let us see how far this kyoto protocol and unfcc was successful in achieving the climate change actions we can't say that kyoto protocol was a success successful measure because 
we have seen different contention between the parties developing and developed country parties and what happened was countries like america and canada withdrew from the kyoto protocol saying that they are not able to they are not willing to uh, keep up the commencement of the kyoto protocol given large emitters like india and china are given exemption so it is bias and they cannot commit so pulling out of these large countries which also happen to be the largest emitters made this treaty little ineffective and recently we saw that american president has uh, decided to pull out of the paris agreement also right so he has decided to pull out so it means that again we are uh, losing a largest emitter and also the funds which would have come from the country america but luckily here other emitters including china india and everybody has reinstated their commitment to the paris agreement so we can hope good things will come in future and this kyoto protocol was not successful as the vienna protocol that we saw before which achieved the ozone depletion issue and still there are op opposition in the basic terms like historical responsibility differentiated treatment and all still it is not the differences are not faced out between the countries and this climate action not only requires the industrial changes but it re requires a change in the overall lifestyle of the people also so it is rather difficult to achieve the climate change compared to the ozone depletion ozone depletion we saw that if you are depleting the some substances that is also uh, not many substances three four ozone depleting substance like chlorofluorocarbon if you are curbing the production and use of such chemicals that can be achieved but the climate change is not like that so it has a relation with the different spheres even soil carbon ocean everything and can contribute to the global warming for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com